we have yet another text-to-speech model in the market, and the audio you are listening to right now was generated through it. We have multiple voice options, as well as this is a free and open-source model. And I personally think that Coco can be an alternative to Eleven Labs, which is a paid tool, as you all know. And to actually use this locally, you can just go to their GitHub, which I will be providing in the description. And here on the readme.md, you can see in the usage, all you have to do is just copy and paste all of this inside one Google Colab cell and just run this. And you can even use this hugging face space where you can use the latest model, which is 0.23, and you can go with the older version as well. And they have a long form generation where you can insert PDF or text files to generate audio through that. So we'll be going through this later on in this video. And at the end of this video, I will be testing this out against 11 labs actually, and we're going to have a battle between Kokoro and 11 labs using the TTS arena, which is a hugging face space where you can actually battle two models parallelly and with that sir let's dive right into it and actually start testing this amazing model hi and welcome back to skill curve this is your host shimriz and we're here at their github repo as you can see and what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna go and copy all of this from here and here on google collab i have this new empty instance i'm just going to go and paste that right here now what this is doing is it's installing Kokoro, then it's installing the dependencies that we need. Next is going to import and initialize the pipeline. And then we have the text that we wanted to generate. I don't want all of this to be generated for my first generation. This is quite lengthy. Let's just go with, uh, I think the first one is enough because this is just going to be a test. And next we have some parameters like the voice that I want as well as the split patterns as you can see and the playback speed and as you can see i just ran this cell and it is doing everything for me it is downloading the dependencies and it's going to generate the audio one more thing that i really wanted to talk about is that you can specify the output format here and you can actually save these files in the browser field right here so as you can see, it went on and it and there you go. There's also a route. Now this is the text that we should hear in the voice generated. So let's go and check it out. The sky above the port was the color of television, tuned to a dead channel. Not gonna lie, I personally think that this is on par with Eleven Labs, and we can actually compare this with Eleven Labs. And all we did was go to their GitHub, copy this piece of code, and went to Google Colab paste the whole code there and we can change the text here we can change it to anything that we want to generate so this was how you can use it using google collab it's a one click usage on your personal space but now let's go to the hugging face space right here and i'm gonna try the latest version so i'm just gonna go and put some text here so for my first input text i'm gonna go with this skill curb is an education company educating the world about ai now as for the voice i can choose a couple of different voices here and if you notice all of these are us based voices we have some male voices at the bottom and we have female voices on the top so we can use any of these voices and i think for this example i'm gonna stick with the default voice so let's actually go and generate so there you go we have the output audio and let's play this skill curb is an education company educating the world about ai i think this is really cool and it is on par with all those paid tools and you can actually just click here to download this and this should be in your downloads there you go and one more thing here is you can toggle audio settings like the playback speed and you can trim how much you want to cut from both hands from the start or the end. So it's going to cut half a second from the start and the end. And there is an autoplay feature here. I just want to disable this because I don't like autoplay. And as for the speed, normal as it is. But what if I want to try all these different languages? So let's say I want to try Japanese because I know a bit of Japanese. So I'm just going to go and say my name is shamris there you go let's try and generate that and see if japanese works so there you go we get the output let's actually check out the results this is definitely not japanese this is more like a japanese person speaking english in a japanese accent so what if i use the korean one and i try the same one let's go and generate this and let's play this out my name is samurais Yes, exactly. This is just using the accent from that particular country 
and not actually their language. So this is something that I didn't test earlier and it is really cool that I can generate my audio in all of these different accents and we have a lot of options for voices in these accents. So this is all that I wanted to test about O2.3. We have already tested the old version here on the Google Collab. So I'm not going to test it right now. But what I want to test here is this long form. So I'm just going to go and paste in a TXT file right here. And as soon as I uploaded this text.txt file here, you can see that it went on and actually transcribed that file for me. So this is what I had written in the file. And now you can just toggle the voice for this one. I just want to go with Bella here. As for the hardware, we're going to use zero GPU. And as for the audio settings, I can add pad between here. This is more like the silence between audio segments. So I want it to be a thousand milliseconds, which is around one second. And then the next thing that you want to do is actually tokenize this. What this would do is it would create the token for the first sentence and the second sentence. This is something how the text to speech models actually work. So I'm going to tokenize. So we have the tokens here. Now the next step is to actually generate these tokens. So let's just click generate and there you go. It started generating for us. As you can see, it has acquired the zero GPU and it has started generating. So it's going to take a couple of seconds and there you go. It has already generated it. So it might take a few more seconds to actually load this. And we have the final output. So let's actually go and check out the results. This audio is being generated through a text file. I will be amazed if this works. So as you can see, the output is quite accurate and we can even go on and have longer PDFs here or longer text files. But just for the sake of this video, I kept it really short. You can go on and test it out, play around with it and let me know in the comments below how your long form generation went on with the Kokoro text to speech model. Now with that said, I want to move to the final part of the video where we're going to have a battle between 11 labs and Kokoro. And for that, I'm going to use the TTS Arena, which is a hugging face space. So here on the battles, I'm just going to go and choose Kokoro right here. And I'm going to generate a random text by clicking here. And I'm just going to hit synthesize. Now, this is actually going to go and generate the same text for both 11 labs and Kokoro. And we're going to have to review the results. So let's click on synthesize. And there you go. Within five seconds, our results are out. So let's actually try 11 labs first. The sand drifts over the sill of the old house. The sand drifts over the sill of the old house. And as you just heard, both of these are on par and neck to neck. But I think Eleven Labs has a more natural vibe to it, while Kokoro has a more composed and AI based vibe. But for this sentence, I wasn't looking for emotions or more human like voice. So I'm just going to go with Kokoro here. Now for the next test, I'm going to go and use a tongue twister here. So we have the tongue twister right here. I'm going to synthesize this. And there you go. You have the results. Let's actually go and take a listen. Betty bought butter, but the butter was bitter. So Betty bought better butter to make the bitter butter better. Betty bought butter, but the butter was bitter. So Betty bought better butter to make the bitter butter better. It's really hard to choose which one is better, but I'm going to go with 11 laps here because it is way more natural with the tongue twister. But again, this is just my personal judgment. And to be really honest, it is really hard to choose which one is better. And now I can confidently say that Kokoro is an open source alternative to Elam Labs and you can actually use this for free from their hugging face or you can go to their GitHub or even go to their hugging face space and test it out right here. With that, I want to wrap this video up. I hope this video was helpful. If you found this video insightful, hit that like button. Share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below. Ring the notification bell to never miss out on our daily updates. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, stay curious and keep exploring.